Hello my lovely Sagittarians, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do your May 2020 love reading. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading, it will not apply to every single one of you, I wish I could do that but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy, please email me, my email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information you need on personals, it's on the community tab as well as my website and don't forget to check me out on Patreon. These readings are extended over there. So over here on YouTube, we're going to cover, uh, uh, nope, we're going to cover overall energy, um, feelings, whether they're yours or whoever you're dealing with, um, and expectations for past, present, future. This could be an ex or just someone you've been dealing with. This is mainly you, but it could be a current person, especially if someone's in your energy or environment, they can pop up. Future is new love um, to come within a month's time or so. Sometimes it can extend beyond a month, but not too far out. Um, so this is either new love, renewed love, or just what's going on um, in your love life. So if you end up going it alone, that will show up there. Um, keep in mind that Patreon is a monthly membership. It's any denomination. So for example, if you start off at 10, you can lower it or increase it at any time. Um, and you can cancel at any time, so it's no obligation to you. Also, you get charged immediately, so when you go over there and sign up, you'll get charged whatever you decide to pay. Um, so if you pay $10, you get charged that, and then on the first of every month, you'll get charged that thereafter unless you increase it or decrease it. Um, and it's not like if you sign up on the 30th, it's not the 30th to the 30th. It's you get charged on the 30th and then it's the first and then the first thereafter. So everyone's on the same pay cycle basically. Um, so you can stay for a moment or you can stay for a while. Either way, it makes me smile. I know that's a corny line, but I love it. <laughs> Anyways, so in your energy, I feel like we're processing through a lot. And it's, it has a lot to do with the self. Like, I feel like a lot of you are sitting back and reflecting on, you know, what's, what's happened in your past, you know, what you contributed to, um, and what others have done to you. It's like basically figuring out what you want to carry with you, um, moving forward, like lessons, what lessons have you learned? Have you learned this lesson or not? And if you haven't, how do you learn it so you can move past it and not repeat a cycle? Um, I feel like you're just cleaning house, spring cleaning type energy, and you could legit be cleaning your house, but, um, like throwing out useless things or donating, um, stuff around the house to Goodwills or charities or whatnot, putting a free sign on it in your front yard type thing. Um, cause I feel like a lot of times when we, when we do the inner work and we're clearing out outdated emotions and just, you know, unloading all the baggage from the past, we tend to do that in our environment as well. So I feel a lot of people doing that, especially if you're a Sagittarius or you could be connected to somebody who is doing this. Um, but I feel like a lot of people have been getting the whole out with the old in with the new and I feel like the like during this quarantine stuff with the corona and all that shit um, I feel like it's caused a lot of us to pause and reflect and see what we value and what we don't so because the world is kind of on pause and it's very quiet right now it's allowing us to go within and process through things. So I do see a lot of changing and I do know that this is a four year. So I'm not, you know, I'm not like an astrologer or anything, but I do know bits and pieces and I follow somewhat of it. So it's a four year. So it's all about family and stability and it's figuring out what works for you and what doesn't. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about astrology because I don't normally do that. So some of you could be very into astrology or you're studying it or I'm talking to an astrologer. So this is something that you would follow. But because um, it's all about family and stability and structure, it's like weeding out all the people, places, things that aren't stable in your life. So um, if you're dealing with somebody who's wishy-washy or in and out of your life energetically, I feel like you're going to be cutting ties with people like that because it's like you need to be consistent. If you want to be part of my life, then you need to be there for me when I need you, just like I'm there for you kind of thing. So you're just reassessing relationships, whether they're platonic, just friendships, um, even relationships with family. And of course, you know, love relationships. This is a love reading. So 
I feel like for those Sagittarians who are currently partnered with somebody, and you could have Sagittarius, you know, it could be your sun sign, moon, rising, Venus, or any other placement because um, I don't really hone in on just a sun sign kind of thing. It's just if it resonates, it resonates. And I do feel like I'm talking to Sagittarians who have um, like different placements, and some of you have multiple placements of Sag, um, so it's very prominent in your chart. And I feel like those of you who have more Sagittarius in your, I just heard Leo too, so you might have Leo in your chart as well. But if you're prominently a Sagittarian, I do feel like um, this message is more than likely for you. Um, but yeah, I feel like you're just finding yourself and in that process, you're getting rid of people, places and things that don't serve you, which is beautiful. Clean in house. So your overall energy is... Uh, Nautilus, Princess, Powerful, Personal Growth. Number 41 breaks down to a 5, which is all about change. It can be inner conflict as well, like not really knowing what you need to change, but knowing, like feeling that a change is necessary. So that's why I feel like a lot of you are going within and, and processing through like who serves you, who doesn't, what serves you, what doesn't kind of thing. Um, some of you might be up in your head worried about ending a, a connection, letting go of an ex, or breaking up with a current partner. Um, I feel like I have some regrets here, like I've made some poor choices in the past, like maybe you've chose wrong in love. Um, there could be somebody from your past, a significant relationship, Sag, that didn't work out the way that you had planned and it's almost like being kind of nostalgic and wondering what could have been not necessarily saying that you want that person back um, because I do feel like there there would have to be massive change in order for you and this person to reconnect and actually um, grow together basically um, but I just feel like it's like if this didn't happen you know, maybe things would be a lot different. I'd be in a different, um, I'd be in a different place in my life kind of thing. So it's kind of going back and thinking like if I would have gone like at the fork in the road, if I would have chosen to stay or if we would have worked through this, what would my life look like? Um, you know, you can't change the past and it's, it's nice to see what could have been as long as you're going to just implement it in the future and kind of use the, uh, almost like pros and con list down the line with a future relationship versus being stuck in the past and wishing you could have changed it. So as long as you're, it's like, as long as you're being kind of productive with it, I guess it's not a bad thing because I just don't be stuck in wishful thinking. You know what I mean? And I don't feel like many of you are. I just feel like you're going backwards and thinking about the shoulda, coulda, wouldas kind of thing. Um, but it's not really regret. It's more of like, what would have happened? You know, um, if you think about the like multi dimension, dimensional theories, which there are many of them. Um, it's like time doesn't exist and time is man made. And I truly believe that. And I, I'm not going to dive deep into it because it's, it's just mind blowing. And a lot of people can't wrap their, their minds around the whole concept of it. But if you truly believe that time doesn't exist, then that means that our past, present, and future are all running parallel to each other. Like, it's happening all at the same time. So, your past self, what's already happened, is running concurrently alongside what you're doing right now. So, it's almost like you're still in the past, if you think about it. Um, where was I going with that? So, with that concept... It's almost like in your mind, if you're going back to those moments, it's wondering if there is a way to kind of change it. You know what I mean? And sometimes I wonder if we do change little bits and pieces of our past, like through dreams, like when we do astral traveling and shit. Um, and that's why certain people tend to come back and talk to us that you're like, whoa, what, why are you here? And it's, it's almost like because you two are communicating in another dimension and it, and that one little change sent them back into your life kind of thing. I don't know. Some of you are really into conspiracy theories and I feel like that's why I'm talking about it. But anyways, this is just about changing what's going around, uh, going on around you currently so that you can better your future and just better yourself in general. It's finding yourself ultimately. 
And then we have see beacon fairy guidance, but where will it lead you? So this is listening to your intuition. And um, I feel like some of you have had issues with listening to yourself in the past, like not fully trusting the information you're getting because your ego was blocking your intuition. It was almost like, you know, is this my ego? Is this my intuition? Like questioning it. Um, and I feel like you were a little misguided because of it in the past and you're very conscientious of it now. <laughs> Excuse me. So you're trying really hard to to try to tell the difference between your ego and your intuition so that you are gui you're guiding yourself properly basically cuz I feel like I really do not want to repeat history. I do not want to make the same mistakes that I've made prior and am I going down the proper road right now? Um Am I missing something? Is there more information that I need? So this is gathering information for you to move forward no matter what we're talking about. And I feel like this pertains to not only your love life and just any relationships, um, people around you, but it's also opportunities like in career um, or just, you know, how you spend your time day to day. Um, I see a lot of you being very creative and I feel that energy heavy um, with a lot of signs at least right now because the you know there's not a lot to do so a lot of us have really been getting in touch with ourselves again and really s figuring out who we are because a lot of people don't even know who they are because um, in this day and age with all the technology and all these gadgets and how everything is just instantaneous and um, we don't really have to put much effort into finding this out or doing much um, it's made a lot of people pretty lazy and we're just almost like robots kind of on we're not really thinking things through and we're just kind of going through the motions in a sense and I feel like right now a lot of people are snapping out of that and realizing that so much time is passing by and it's like what have I really done with my life um is this really where I want to be is this really all that there is and you're realizing no there's a lot more how do I get there um and who's going to be beside me while I'm exploring all these beautiful things within myself and around me so that's kind of where you guys are at, and I know that's a lot of information just off of two cards, but I feel like, Sagittarius, your your overall energy is just kind of flowing very freely, and I feel like it's because you're opening up. Um, a lot of you, I feel like there's a, a group of Sagittarians who were kind of closed off, um, very closed-minded to the spiritual realm, to um, anything metaphysical, paranormal. And you guys are, whoever was closed off to that before, I feel like you're readdressing it and kind of stepping outside the box with it. So your beliefs are changing as well. Which is normal because as we grow and expand, of course, we're not going to have the same beliefs, you know. Um, I'm not saying that everyone changes their religion. I'm just saying that our beliefs evolve with us, you know. So anyways, at the bottom of this deck, we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other, which is what you want. So it's like, what is going to make me happy? I know that a lot of you are, are happy on your own. But you want to find that person who compliments you that you can, you know, have this type of joy with as well. And I feel like if you're currently partnered, you're not really, you're not really feeling it. Um, I almost feel like if you're currently partnered, you're in a partnership that's, it's like, it's complacent, but it's, it's out of convenience is what I feel. So at the bottom of the tarot of se sexual magic, we have the fool. And this is all about taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, moving forward, changing um, not only yourself or the way that you... I feel like it's changing the way that you approach situations and relationships. It's trying something new. This is adventure. It's, like I said, out with the old and with the new. It's... Um, I feel a sense of boredom and I want to explore. So there's exploration here. Um, it's almost like I don't know where I'm going, but I'll, I'll figure it out when I get there kind of thing. So I don't feel that you guys have a plan on moving forward. It's more of flying by the seat of your pants and just seeing what happens. Enjoying the ride, basically, is what I feel. 
So the overall energy in the recent past, we have the Angel of Strength reversed. Number 50 breaks down to a 5, which is all about change and <clears throat> inner conflict. It can also be outer conflict, like I said. Um, but to me, this is not having the courage to to take that leap of faith, to move forward, um, to take a risk. So I feel like if you were currently partnered, some of you could have been partnered in the recent past and you're, you've already ended this connection, um, whether it was just you ended it recently or you ended it, you know, months ago, even a year or so ago. Um, we're all on different timelines, like I said previously. So it, it all depends on where you are in this or how long it's been is what I'm getting at. But this is being fearful of the unknown. Am I making the right choice to leave this person? Because I just feel like I'm not, I'm not comfortable with whoever this is. And if it wasn't a partnership, it is releasing, like needing to release an outdated desire. So some of you could have wanted a past person back or just like when I said I was reminiscing about um, past relationships and kind of seeing like what our life could have been if we had chosen to stay together kind of thing or if this or that didn't happen. I feel like that's kind of what this is. It's not being conf fully confident in the decision that was made. Like did I make the right choice kind of thing is what I'm feeling. And that's also Leo energy. And I said that um, you might have Leo in your chart. You could be dealing with one. Not necessarily, but let's see. Angel of Strength reversed. What is this lack in confidence? I feel like some of you, like, if it was, it could either have been this is how you handled a breakup or how someone handled it with you. I feel ghosting. I feel someone was kind of a coward in the past. It was a significant relationship between you and this person. Potentially you were married, not necessarily, but I feel like you were with this person for six months or more at least. And um, the ending, it was not like, hey, this isn't working, we're done. It was the person disappeared. So either you ghosted this person and you're, you're wondering, did I make the right choice? Um, so I, that's where that reminiscent energy is coming in or this happened to you and somebody just ghosted you and you're like, what the fuck? Like, how can you just end a significant relationship like that without even a goodbye? So I feel like there was no closure in the ending of this connection, whether it happened a while ago or just recently. So it's almost like, did I make the right choice is what I feel. Can I get more on this for Sag, please? Hold on, I just heard shuffle. I've already shuffled, but sometimes spirit will do that. They want me to show you what's on the bottom of the deck and then shuffle again. Angel of strength, please. I do feel like something is circling back around for some reason. We have the stars. It's wish fulfillment. It's also healing energy. Um, I do feel like some of you want to um, go back go backwards. Some of you want to heal um, a connection that you had with somebody in the past where either you ghosted them or they ghosted you. And if it's not you wanting to go back, I feel like whoever did the ghosting, whoever left um, and didn't provide closure, I feel like they are, they've been hoping, wishing, and praying for an opportunity to talk to you or you have, vice versa, whatever. Um, because I feel like I want to heal this situation. Even if you two don't get back together, I feel like someone wants to provide that closure, um, explain their actions. And I feel like this has been a long time coming. Like, whoever got left kind of chalked it up to a lost cause. I'm never going to get closure in this and had to provide closure for themselves. But I do feel like somebody is coming back either for a second chance for a do-over or just to apologize. Queen of Wands, there's definitely a, a strong magnetic attraction between you and this person. Like the sex was off the charts. I do feel like that was the main energy in the relationship though. Like even though you had fun, adventurous moments, I feel, I don't, I feel like it, it, it was based off from like passion, a strong passion. So the sexual connection was very 
intense. I feel like some of you could have been dealing with a Scorpio, a Leo, or an Aquarius so far, or like, yeah, fire sign Leo. This is also you, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Um, yeah, this is somebody wanting to reconcile. There's judgment reversed. It's almost like neither one of you have made the final call on this connection. It just kind of went away, and somebody wants to revisit it suddenly there's scorpionic energy we have the tower and the eight of pentacles reversed and to me with this in this deck it's wanting to work on it because in the upright they're kind of taking a break after working on it they're reflecting it's almost like can we make this work kind of thing so i feel like some of you the past is going to come back it's going to meet your future yeah, out of fucking nowhere, too. After somebody stabbed you in the back, like I said, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. It shocked you when this person left in the past, like I said. It's like, I don't know what happened kind of thing, or you shocked someone. It depends, vice versa, because um, someone was being very self-absorbed. They're being selfish. Um, this is kind of a self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. That's what was happening. And somebody basically was going after their own selfish wants and or needs, thinking that this is what they needed or wanted in their life, and they just totally up and left the connection um, with you without explanation out of fucking nowhere. And I feel like this person wants to come back again out of nowhere. So they're very spontaneous, whether it's you or them. But somebody has not, like, they're kind of a coward. So whoever did the ghosting, they were a coward, and that's why they just up and left and without explanation because they were too afraid to explain themselves to you basically i do feel infidelity here but they think about you all the time they dream about you they want to heal this whether you end up together or not because i do feel like this person either you or them whichever side of the coin you're on didn't know what love was because remember how i said it was very passionate like i felt the strong magnetic pull to the person but it was more of a desireful thing it wasn't it wasn't so much love versus lust is what I'm getting but I feel like this person understands what love is now and they never realized it but they do love you and if there's any regret it's on that person's side whoever did the leaving whether it's you or them and we have kisses unconditionally loving which is what they're realizing and they're also realizing that you had a lot of love love for them and that nobody has ever loved them like you did and they it's almost like you don't realize what you have until it's gone um, giving and receiving affection falling in love and I feel like with them reminiscing and thinking about the good times together and then thinking about what they did to you and how they left it's it's sparking something inside them again and they're they're just realizing how much they do love you and then we have lightning sudden change shocking news surprise epiphany upheaval transformation they want to trans transform the um the dynamic between the two of you because they had this epiphany basically is what i was saying they're realizing that there really is love here um, and I feel like this is going to be quite shocking to you. It's almost like this person always has to come in or go out with a bang. Like, it's always shocking. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to ghost you, boom, and you're like, what? And I'm going to come in and tell you I love you. What? Like, something like that. And I feel like that's why the sea beacon fairy is here. It's like, should I revisit this or should I just accept the apology as closure and move forward? So some of you are really going within... Um, trying to find yourself and wondering if this person has grown just as much as you have. Like, did they do the work? Is that why they're having this epiphany? Is this real? Should I believe it? Um, so some of you are looking for the red flags, basically, in this situation. Or you were, because this is the recent past, so they could have come forward. But for some reason, I feel like if someone did come forward from your past, it's just for a small percentage of you, because I feel like they still haven't they're too scared to but they want to and when they do even though they've thought about it for a while and they've been trying to manifest this um you don't know about it so it's going to come out of the blue to you kind of thing or to them wherever you stand on that like i said so feelings in the recent past is attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and i feel like it, the reason why this person 
um, is strongly thinking about you and wanting to come back or reconnect in some capacity is because they've been seeing you. If you guys live near each other, they see you out in public, um, just living your life, doing what you need to do. But I feel like for the majority of you, this ex person, um, they're seeing you in a different light because you're more you're more confident than you ever used to be and I feel like they're seeing this online. So if any of you are YouTubers, you know, if you, no matter what you do, what content you make, if you are on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever, um, it could be for any reason. I just feel like you're being watched online and this person is seeing you succeed and seeing, um, your growth, just how, how much you've changed. Cause I feel like when you were with this person, you weren't as confident as you are today. You didn't believe in yourself as much as you do now. Um, so there is a change in that and they're very drawn to the, f to your independence. Can I get, or you're drawn to theirs. Can I get more on attraction, please? I feel like they've always been heavily attracted to you, and that's where the whole lustful energy came in initially. Um, but it's almost like no matter how many years passed, how old you get, if you have age spots, wrinkles, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's like this person not only sees your physical beauty, they see beyond that because there's like a light about you or a light about them that's unique, like... I don't know. It shines through. So it makes you even more attractive. Someone told me I say unique too much. And it's... <laughs> I know if you use it too much, it's not really that unique. But it's um, it's because a lot of times, different signs, readings, will come out very similar for other signs. Because we have multiple placements in our chart. And I'm legit talking about the same thing when I say it. So it sounds like I'm saying it a lot. But it's for like... It's zoned in on something specific. Attraction, please. This person wants you bad. They want you back, Sag. I don't know. It's 50-50, too, because I feel like some of you will think about it. But I feel like I'm wondering if there's an ulterior motive because you didn't... I almost feel like you're not trusting the situation because you... You're in, you feel like your intuition failed you the last time you connected with this person, but it wasn't that it failed you. It was just that you, um, you were reading the information wrong, basically. Um, so you're just trying to make sure you don't do that again. We have the Ten of Wands reversed, and to me, this is <sighs> dropping the burdens of it all. It's like not wanting to work on something. I don't really feel like it's not wanting to work on something. For some of you, it might be hesitancy where it's like this might be too much work to move forward. But I feel like this is just being confident and taking the world by the balls, basically, and charging ahead no matter how difficult things are. I almost feel like this person is viewing you as like they left you in in a really bad situation, I feel like, um, debt was involved, shit like that, like, it wasn't pleasant, um, in any aspect, or in any way, shape, or form, when they ghosted you, when they ended the connection, and they've seen you pick up the pieces all by yourself and persevere, so I do feel like part of, um, their worry, why they're not so confident in reaching out to you and, and like how you'll receive the message or information is because they, they know that they need to put a lot of work in because they, they bailed at a very shitty time and what they did to you is extremely cruel. Um, and I feel like they're fearful that you have dropped it and that you won't, you won't even try. Yeah, and then we have the Three of Swords. It was very painful. I do feel infidelity here. I feel like this person allowed superficial... Um, they were very superficial, and they left for superficial reasons, is what I'm getting at. Because with attraction, it's not only that are they attracted to you currently, and they're seeing just how strong and confident and independent you are. I feel like this person wanted like instant sexual gratification and I feel kind of like 
I don't want to call it a sex addiction, but I feel like this person was exploring. Um, you were in different uh, times in your lives, basically. So I do feel there could be an age difference between you and this person. And that's why you weren't looking at things the same way. And I do feel that there is a bit of growth. So the younger person, whoever did the ghosting, is the younger one. And I feel like they are maturing. And that's why they're seeing things differently. And they're realizing just how much pain they cause. Because I kind of feel like they're getting a taste of their own medicine from somebody else. But yeah, they, they left you for somebody else. And what's funny is I see this person that they left you for there's a lot of similarities between you and that person it's almost like they saw you physically in that person or there were some traits it's so fucked up when people do that but they were the uglier version of you <laughs> if that makes sense um it's been a long time coming with the clock I don't know if I've already dropped like a, a curse word or not, but just what FYI, post warning, I forgot to say it. I use bad language. If you don't like it, there's the door. See you later. Bye. I don't want to hear it. Um, hopefully you stay. If you've made it this far, then I think you'll stay. <laughs> Can I get more on attraction? This person just let their like lustful um, feelings get in the way. It's almost like they were thinking with their dick or their or their no no, male female whatever. So we have the runner. Oh yeah, this is why this is here and why it feels. Cause I feel like there's a strong connection between you and this person, but there's a lot of animosity too because of um, what had happened. We have the runner. Runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy, which I strongly feel up here. Um, listening to ego, and I said that with the overall energy here, like listening to your ego over your intuition because you're not understanding, you know, the difference between the two. That might not have been you. That could have been this person. So this person ran away for superficial reasons. I feel like they were afraid because they were falling in love with you, and I feel like they've never actually loved anyone before, and it was scary. So they're like, nope, this is too much. I'm going to go fuck somebody who looks like my person um, so that I can kind of keep the energy alive but I don't have to feel the attachment and the reason that they did this is twin flames yin yang zen balance union duality coupling complement each other you do complement each other I feel like even though this person really hurt you Sag or if I'm talking to a cross watcher Sagittarius really hurt you I feel like you still would consider um, how things could go in the future between the two of you because you recognize this connection as divine. And a lot of times, twin flame relationships, divine counterparts, they are extremely difficult. There's many lessons tied to it. And there's a lot of karma that needs to be cleared up individually and then together. Um, normally, I mean, every every twin flame story or situation is different because we're all a different timeline. So some, some people have cleared up their ship faster than others. It all depends. Um, but I feel like it's taken this person a long time to, to realize that there's more to this connection than just the physical aspects of it. But you saw it all along and it was too much for them. And then we have Healing Heart. And yeah, they definitely have been watching you with sunglasses. So, expectations in the past was strength. Uh, great inner strength. Release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. So, the expectation in the recent past is that um, this person thinks that you'll forgive them. And then it's a number 11, which is also twin flame energy for me too. It's partnership. Um, but it's funny, the overall energy is being a coward, not having the strength to move forward, but the expectation is strength, you know, being strong and courageous and being able to, um, to speak your mind and move forward. So I kind of feel like a lot of you have thought about this and if this person ever approached you for closure or wanting to come back or whatever, because I feel like for whoever this message is for, you have this gut feeling, your intuition is telling you that it's not over, that this person will return for some reason. Um, it's different for each of you, but I feel like 
you've uh, your expectation is that when they come back that you will be strong enough to listen to what they have to say to not blow up at them and to forgive them for their indiscretions and you know their abrasiveness what they did to you um for your own sanity that's the expectation of it but i feel like the other person expects you to um harshly judge them this says release harsh judgments it's almost like what you're expecting they're expecting the opposite kind of thing they're fearful it's like they want to be strong enough to come forward but you're dealing with someone who doesn't like to put their heart on the line oops yeah they want to be able to work together with you I'm going to take them because I don't really know what they all are, but we're going to see. So this is the Three of Pentacles, which is all about working together, collaboration. Um, I also feel like this person, whoever they ran off with, ran, um, they worked with them. So that because I feel like your person, whoever this is from the past, is kind of a workaholic. And if they're not a workaholic, they used work as an excuse a lot to either not see you, um, or to do whatever, like, just so that they could get away, and I feel like they, they met this new person, well, it's not new anymore, but they met this other person, um, through work, it was either a boss figure or a co-worker or something, um, I just saw a chicken, that's funny, because that's not a chicken, it's an angel wing, but the way the card was sitting, it looked like a chicken, um, could have been in a poultry factory, but anyways, or something to do with chicken. Maybe they work at a restaurant. <laughs> I don't know, like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, we have the Five of Pentacles reversed. This is wanting to come out of the cold with the Three of Wands reversed and not wanting to wait. Because with this card in the upright, I see this as very inconsistent. She's left always wanting, waiting, and yearning for the other person because he's gone doing whatever, and then he'll come in and you'll have these really beautiful moments, and then he's gone again. Um, to me, this is the wait is over. He or she is here to stay kind of thing. So I feel like somebody, the expectation is that this person is no longer going to wait, and when they come back, they are, they're here to stay. Like when... I almost feel like with you, it's like if they do come back to apologize and they want to rekindle, you want to know 110% that they're here for good, that they're not going to do this in and out shit, that they're not going to run away again, that they really will collaborate with you and work with you um, and basically fix their fuck up because with the five of pentacles reverse, that's coming out of that sense of lack. It's getting what you want in the end. I really strongly feel that a lot of you just know that this person is going to return, whether you want them back or not. You just have that inclination that they're... It's almost like you know when they think about you, you know when they dream about you, and I feel like you have healed from this connection because I feel like for some reason it, it, it happened a while ago, but they might have messaged you within the last six months or so, so relatively recent. But it didn't go anywhere. It was like a fleeting message. And it was because they're, this person is a fucking coward. They were The timing was off. But I feel like it's coming around again. You haven't heard the last from this person. And um, you know that. I, don't, I just strongly feel that you're, you know that. And you're wondering if you should move forward with them when they come back. Or if you should just accept it. You know, accept their apology photograph looking at your photos missing you nostalgia making new memories this person wants to make new memories with you they're stalking you not in a creepy way but they're watching you online they're very attracted to you they always have been but i feel like they're even their attraction is growing and growing and growing into love because we have kisses here they're having um those epiphanies that aha moment of oh my god i i love sagittarius or sag you're having these aha moments that you love so and so um, and it's almost like no matter what they did in the past, it, we can overcome this because our bond is so strong kind of thing. Like, um, I miss what we once had. So if you guys had a lot of photos together, like on trips that you took, I feel like one of you or both of you are reminiscing. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. Are reminiscing on those moments, looking at those photos. 
Um, I even feel like whoever did the leaving still has, like, risque photos of you, like, naked photos and stuff, male, female, whatever. Um, and they do look at those, and it makes them want you even more. But it goes beyond the physical, and they want to make new memories with you. They're ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, they're preparing for union because they're heartbroken without you. And they want to bring closure. They want to tell you how sorry they are for doing whatever the hell they did to you, for leaving you out in the cold. I even feel like this person has been saving their money for some. So if they left you in debt or they you had to pay off certain bills and shit because of them leaving, especially if you were married to this person when they ghosted you, um, I feel like they've been saving up some money because they're, they're going to actually give you money as, like, calling a truce. So this is, like, phase one. Here's some money for what I did, and then can we talk kind of thing. I strongly feel something like that. So overall energy currently, we have action reversed. So number 17 breaks down to an eight, which is all about being stuck up in your head. I feel like this person is overthinking the situation to death. They don't know how to move forward or you don't know how to move forward. Um, it's like, is my intuition right? Should I go with this person or should I you know, move on completely? Because I feel like whoever I'm talking to you thought you moved on. And I feel like you actually have moved on from this person. Um, because you don't cry over them. They're not, they're not, um, stunting your forward movement. You know, I feel, I don't really feel like you've dated, dated. I feel like you've entertained options, but you haven't had a commitment since this person. And it's not because you don't want love. It's just because you don't really care for the options that you have. It's almost like nobody is really compared to this person and you don't want to settle for less. And I feel like you've taken this time to really work on yourself, um, but you are ready to move forward and... But the current energy is like somebody is not taking action. And I feel like it's because they don't know what action to take. They don't know what to do. Yeah, we have the chariot in the upright now. This is forward movement. So, I mean, because this, I see this as a chariot. That's why I said it's in the upright now. <laughs> um, then we have death reverse. This is something that hasn't ended. It's also scorpionic energy. And I believe I said I saw Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. So we have the Knave of Pentacles, which is the Page of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups or Five of Chalices. Um, this is crying over spilt milk. It's still thinking about the past. I feel like whoever you're dealing with is kind of a coward. They're nervous that they're not going to be well received if they come in with this offer because the offer is small because they're not going to put too much out um, on the line because they don't want to end up getting hurt if you reject them because this person does fear rejection. They definitely... They want to move forward with you, but they just don't know what steps to take. Or you want to move forward with them and you don't know what steps to take. Um, I feel like this person, like when they left you, you, you know, you cried, you went through a state of depression. It was very difficult to move forward. Like I said, you have moved on since then. You have healed. You've done a lot of work. But what, how you were feeling initially, it's how they're feeling now. Um... It took, it was almost like a delayed response. It's because they didn't realize what they had until now. And I feel like a, a couple years at least has passed. Um, with the Knave of Pentacles, this is kind of forced to me. Um, they don't want to come off that way. I feel like they're afraid that if they come in with any kind of offer, no matter how big or small, you, you'll think that they have an ulterior motive because of what has happened before. So it's like you, they want to move forward in a positive way, and that's why they're coming in, but they're afraid that you won't. So the overall action is thinking, like, which direction should I, should I go in? Which light should I follow kind of thing? Um, I knew that this was coming, but do, just because it's here, does it mean that it's right for me? So there's a lot of questions. Can I get more on action reversed with the Knave of Pentacles? Five of Cups in the Chariot. Now we have Cancerian energy here. 
So we definitely got water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but I strongly feel Scorpio. Somebody could have cancer placements because I don't feel it that strongly. With Aquarius, I feel that there are Aquarius placements, that it's not a sun sign. But Leo, Sag, Scorpio, it, they could have a sun sign in those signs. But they definitely have those in their chart somewhere. Or you do. Vice versa, whatever. So we have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. That's what this is. They're watching and waiting for the right time to make their move. Um, cause they don't know how far along you are on the healing process because you guys haven't talked. They want to heal this with you, but they also feel that you will that you you'll think they have an ulterior motive that like they want they want you to see it from their perspective and they're afraid that you won't because they didn't look at anything from your perspective in the past so i just this person is definitely afraid so they're still keeping their distance um so when they do approach you and i did say that i felt from the majority of you in in the recent past within the past six months or so maybe a little longer this person did reach out and message you something small and then it went away. So it's almost like they were testing the waters and the timing was off or something. I don't know why they didn't continue talking, but because they did that, you still know that there's more to come and they've been watching you ever since. And they know they want to fix this with you. But I feel like when they do come in and communicate again, it's going to be another small message and because of that, you might not take them fully seriously. And that's why the overall energy is non-action. It's because they want to move forward with you, but you're going to think that they're just coming in to fucking talk or because they want, like, sex or something. Like, I feel like I'm not going to take this person seriously, but they're being serious, if that makes sense. Um, some of you have already gotten this communication, the second form of communication. Others of you, it's coming within the next week or two. It could be within this month, but this is current energy. Um, whether you're delivering the message or you're on the receiving end. And I feel like the majority of you are on the receiving end. I just heard Sag rising. So somebody has Sagittarius rising that this will resonate with. So current feelings. Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I feel like this is how this person's going to come in. And you're going to view them that way. That they're just being flirtatious. That they're superficial. That they just want to have sex with you. That, you know, that this person never takes anything fucking seriously. So, you might flirt back and joke. Especially if um, you two aren't hashing out old problems. But I feel like them coming in with this lighthearted approach is going to lead up to you guys hashing out your problems. And it's only because you are going to put them on blast in a sense. You're going to make them talk about it because I feel like you're not going to continue any conversations or any forward movement in any capacity if you two cannot um, basically close out the past cycle to, have, to start something new, even if it's just friendly communication. Um, some of you are just going to tell this person to fuck off completely and you're not going to have anything to do with them. But I feel like that's a very small percentage because for whoever this is for, you know that this is a divine counterpart of yours. But even though they don't want to talk about the elephant in the room about what happened, you're going to make them. But um, they are going to start off with this flirtatious energy. And I do see somebody smiling at this, at their phone or the computer screen like, yeah, I still got it. Like, I knew you still loved me. I knew you had, had it bad for me and whatever. My feelings aren't wrong. I'm right. Like, somebody's going to be gloating. We have the King of Chalices reversed, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I kept saying Scorpio, and we did see Cancer here. But this is opening up. Yeah, quickly. Opening up lines of communication, especially with the Eight of Wands. And then we have the Seven of Swords reversed. This is like, I feel like coming in lightheartedly because of what happened in the past. There are trust issues here, and hopefully they can be overcome with communication. So that is what you guys are going to talk about or what you want to talk about. But it's not how they're going to initiate the conversation, basically. 
Um, but with the King of Cups reverse, to me, this is opening up. It's sharing your feelings. It's somebody saying, you know, I've missed you. Um, I'm sorry that I did this, that, and the other, and I have feelings for you. I don't feel like they're going to open up the floodgates and tell tell you that they're madly, deeply in love with you, but some emotion is going to be exchanged in hopes that you two will move forward. Um, and I do feel quick communication. like So this is texting, instant messaging. This is not emails, and this is not even a phone conversation. Some of you, this is, this is travel. So you two do not live near each other, but even if you're only 10 minutes away from each other, this is somebody actually showing up at your house or you, you running into them by accident, but I feel like it's on purpose because this person planned it um because they knew you were going to be wherever the hell you guys end up but i feel like for the majority of you this is texting or instant messaging and it's um i feel like the conversation is going to move really fast like it's going to go from hey what's up to some boring you know just i've been doing this that and the other to you know i still love you like the progression of the conversation is going to go relatively quickly because somebody has been holding back their feelings for quite a while so it's gonna i feel like for whoever's on the receiving end of this it's gonna feel rushed it's gonna feel too fast like um i can't move this quickly but it's gonna it's not rushed from the person who's delivering it because they have been sitting and stewing on this for a long time is what I feel. Can I get more please? I feel like somebody legit wants to relocate and move back to the area that you're in or have you moved to where they're at. Somebody wants somebody to, to move to gap the distance between the two of you. Mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-image relationships reflect our um, our wounds. Introspection. This person's definitely gone within and thought a lot about it, but I feel like you two have similar approaches or you're going to take a similar approach to this communication because you guys are mirroring each other, which is right next to Twin Flames. Engagement ring. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So this is... Um, where was it? Preparing for union with ascending, which is an expectation in the recent past. And now it's in the feelings in the current moment. So you both want the same thing, but I, I feel like you're going to make them work for it, Sag, or vice versa, Crosswatch or whatever, because, because of what happened. It's like you want to know that they're serious. But I do feel... I feel like somebody wants you back really bad. It's almost like starting, I don't even feel like they want to pick up where they left off. I feel like they want to like clean slate, almost like start from scratch because you two are different people now. Like you've grown and so have they. I feel like you've matured a lot more than this person though, but they're working on it. They're getting there. So current expectations is the four of water. <coughs> Excuse me, missing an opportunity, uh, discontentment or boredom, open your eyes to the possibilities. This wanted to come out reverse, but I don't like reading reversals in this deck. Sometimes I will if I'm really prompted to, so I'll read it like both ways. I'm, I'll be open-minded about it, and I feel like I'm saying that because this is basically an expectation of that person. Sagittarius, please keep an open mind. Don't let this opportunity pass you by, like, please hear me out kind of thing is what I'm feeling. Like... They definitely do not want this to be a missed opportunity because I feel like they feel that they've missed opportunities in the past to communicate to you. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Please be open-minded about this is what somebody wants. And I I feel like in the time like this time in your life Sagittarius because of the work you've done on yourself you you are open-minded about this. You're not shutting them down immediately like you would have in the past. I feel like it's all about divine timing, and that's why they're coming in now, because you are more open to it. Even if um, even if you don't take them back, you'll still listen and consider. We have the Hermit Reverse. This is Virgo energy, but this is like you've already thought about this. This is not even having to take the time to go within and process it, because you've had so much time to do that. Um, 
This is trying to reignite the passion between the two of you. But this is also, to me, for some reason, yeah, because then we have the Seven of Swords reversed. It's the past. Um, in this card, he's sitting here and the candle's blown out and there's two people, you know, getting it on over there and he's kind of got his head down. So to me, this is like through the disconnect, you've thought about your person, whoever's coming back towards you with the other person, with the whoever they were cheating on you with, whoever they left you for, basically. It's like, you know, you're happy, you're happy with them. You know, I thought you were going to get engaged, get married, have kids, do this, that, and the other. Like, it's, you've already thought that to death, and this is no longer thinking about that. And I feel like a lot of you have already chalk this up to a lost cause to a missed opportunity that you know they're happy they'll never come back kind of thing so I feel like it's kind of shocking um and then with the seven of swords reverse this this is all about the past them you thinking about them what they did to you and wondering if you can even offer them like even accept their offer or give them another chance like will this happen again because I feel like a lot of you have told yourself time and time again, I will never give that motherfucker a chance again. Like, nope, you, you burn that bridge, basically. But I feel like when they come back in, it's going to, like, open the floodgates almost. It's going to make you reconsider. Like, what should I have? Should I give them a chance? Like, I don't know. I feel like whatever was set in stone in your mind before is washing away it did it never set it was you thought it was like permanent and come to find out it's water-based paint and it's just it's no longer on the stone so you're like i don't know what to do because then we have the four of chalices under the deck too which is clarifying the four of water it's the same thing you're bored in your current situation which i said in the very beginning you're ready for change you want something new and i feel like this person, even though they're not new to you, it's a new side of them. Um, they're approaching you in a different way. The way that they speak to you is different. Um, their wants, needs, desires, what they're talking about is completely different. So it's making you think. I feel like some of you expect, I feel like they expect it to be different this time. And you are expecting it to be the same. But you're trying to look at it in a different, from a different point of view, is what I feel. Can I get more on the four of water, the hermit reverse, seven of swords reverse, and the four of chalices? Yeah, you don't want to be an option. Keys on a ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. This is what you're wondering. Is this going to be the same old, same old bullshit? Because are you going to do to me what you did to did back then, basically? And then we have the chaser. So now we have the runner and the chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. And I feel like in the past, when they left, when they ghosted you, you did some chasing. You missed them. It stung. You're like, what the fuck? I want you back. Like, I feel like some of you did fight for this, and then you, you were forced to give up because they they just kind of fell off the radar. You, they wouldn't talk to you. They blocked you. Like, I feel like some of you didn't even know where they moved to. Like, you didn't have their address, nothing. You just, you felt like they strung you along and used you. And now the tables have turned. I feel like you're going to make them chase you, in a sense. It's like you ran away, so now you, when you come back, now you got to do the chasing. So I feel a bit of a flip-flop there. And some of you might take this opportunity and use it um, to your advantage and um, basically give them a taste of their own medicine and create your own karma. Um, I don't feel like all of you will do that, but some of you will lead this person on and then kind of crush them. Be careful with that because, you know, what goes around comes around you in, you know, just leave karma and all that shit to the universe. Leave it up to them um, because everybody gets what they deserve, good, bad, or indifferent. It just, it might not be in the way that you expect it to be, but justice is always served in the end. So just keep that in mind. Um, don't be too cruel because I feel like some of you will do that. But most of you are actually going to think outside the box and you might consider 
giving this person another chance. But not all of you will do that. So, overall energy in the future, we have contract reversed. This is ending a contract. It's the breakup. It's the ending. This is the divorce. It's finalizing things. Um, like I said, some of you will give this person another chance and this is you ending the previous cycle between the two of you and starting fresh. It's trans, uh, transforming the connection between the two of you so you both can grow and expand together moving forward. For others of you, this is getting the closure that you want and it's just completely ending the cycle. It's like, see you later, bye. Thank you for coming in and apologizing for explaining yourself. Um, <clears throat> so that I'm not left up in the air for the rest of my days. Um, but it's like, I'm, I'm good with where we're at together. I wish you well. See you later. Um, so it is 50, 50 with you guys, but either way, there is a cycle that is ending. And I feel like it was absolutely necessary for your, for your personal growth. And no matter which decision you make, whether it's to move forward with this person or to just accept it as closure and move forward with somebody new, I feel like it's going to benefit you in the end, um, regardless. We have the Ace of Swords reverse. This is having trust issues. I feel like a lot of you fear that this person is going to, like history is going to repeat itself. So if you guys can't close out that karmic cycle, um, like if you can't forgive them enough to learn how to trust them again, it will never work. That's why some of you aren't going to move forward with them, while others of you will try. Um, yeah, some of you definitely are too afraid of history repeating itself with the two of chalices reversed, the strength card reversed, it's giving up energy, um, with the king of swords, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, I see him as Gemini, but it's just not trusting it. I feel like it's because of how you perceive what had happened or how you're perceiving the communication that's coming in between the two of you. I feel, I feel like some of you just don't trust this person as far as you can throw them. You, you don't believe a damn thing that comes out of their mouth basically because they, they have that player mentality. Can I get more on contract reverse and ace of swords reverse? For some of you, this is a very small percentage because I feel like for most of you, this person isn't going to come in and talk to you until they've ended the commitment with whoever they left you for or whoever they're currently with or were with. Once that's ended, that's when the communication's coming in. But there is like maybe 2% of you, <laughs> okay, so not very many, that this person lied and said that they had ended a commitment, but they haven't fully ended it. It's like emotionally they're out the door. They're not, uh, they're not in love with that person. They don't want to be with them, but for security purposes, they're still with them unless you take them back. So you're like, you're like a, ba they're like a backup plan, I guess. So if you reject them, they still have the comforts where they're at. That's a really shitty thing to do. And I feel like if you find that out, if your person does that, this is why you would choose to just end the karmic cycle and accept it as closure and move forward. But if they if they come to you correct, I feel like that's when you would uh, keep an open mind and consider moving forward. So if I'm talking to a cross watcher or Sagittarius, whoever did the leaving before the ghosting, if you're coming back to deliver these messages, make sure you are 100% single because either Sagittarius or whoever your person is, Sag, will find out and you don't want to, um, when you're trying to start over again, you don't want to start off on the wrong foot and add more trust issues, you know? So do things the proper way or not at all. Unless you're just talking, that's a whole other story. If it's just communication, that's fine. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. They want to date you, but I feel like they're keeping this to themselves. Um, hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. They're working on leaving their current person to go to you. That's what I said. Because they like you, but there's kind of a backup plan here. And it, for some of you, it could be that they just don't want to be on the losing end. Um, 
So like I said, it's the backup plan type thing. Like if you reject them, they still have whoever they're with. Um, so they're not going to lose out on that security. But for others of them, if they're still with that person, it's not for that reason. It could be, um, oh my God, what was I going to say? It could be because they don't have a place to live because not everybody can move back in with their parents or, you know, sometimes you don't have friends or you don't have enough money for a deposit to get your own place. It's almost like they're working on that. Um, but they wanted to message you while they're in that process. If that's the case, you know, talk to them, get the closure that you need, get the information that you want, see how it goes, how it, how it moves forward with you guys just talking. And if they get their own place and they get their shit together while you guys are just talking as friends and hashing shit out, then you'll know that they're being honest and they're standing by what they're saying because they're working on it regardless of if you want them or not, you know? Um, it all depends on the scenario and how far along you guys are in the process with that. But I do feel like some of them are hanging on to whoever they were with um, just because they haven't figured out exactly how to get out of the situation, but they can't hold back their feelings from you anymore. Just make sure it's done properly because, you know, I feel like you guys don't want to hurt the, whoever they're with like you were hurt, even if they're still with the person that they left you for. It's like, it's not that person's fault. I feel like they didn't even know that you and you guys were together. Like, it was your person being shady. But some of you, the person did know, and, you know, if that's the case, fuck them. They should have backed off, but whatever. It is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. So, future feelings. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This is 50-50 for me, so I feel like some of you, like I said, this is just closure. That you're going to release this ex, and this is what you've been waiting for, um, so that you can move forward 110%. It's like you have all the answers that you wanted within this connection, and I feel like you could have taken it or, or left it. It's like you weren't waiting for this. You don't need it. It's just nice to have. So some of you, you know, want to release this person completely after you find out this information. Others of you, this is what I was just talking about. And I feel like for the majority of you, that's what this is. This is, um, they need to release whoever they're currently with or living with. Even if they're broken up and they're still residing in the same home, this is, they need to release that person or you do, um, in order for this connection to fully move forward in a positive way. Yep. Cause then we have the six of pentacles reversed. To me, in the upright, this is being kind of self-indulgent. Like, he's in the background wishing he could be in on the action kind of thing. Like, hey, you want to share that with me? Can we have this experience? But she's just doing it with herself, enjoying her own company, basically. Interpret that however you see fit. Um, but in the reverse, this is like the connection is wide open. You two are ready and, ready and willing to... Um, give and receive. So this is coming together and sharing an experience after somebody releases somebody from their past. So either you need to let go of this person and open yourself up to somebody completely new, which I feel like is a small percentage of you and others of you. This is um, once they release whoever they're living with, whatever that connection is, or you, you two will be free to collaborate. Can I get more on this? It's almost like prove yourself to me. If you really love me and you want to make this work, whether I take you back or not, you need to let go of that person. Prove yourself. Prove to me that you're not weak, that you stand by what you say kind of thing. And then I will... I'll either be welcoming you with arms wide open or I won't. You know, that's a risk you're going to have to take kind of thing. We have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. This is you being unsure of the future because you're waiting for this person to release whoever they need to release or they're waiting on you to release whoever you need to release. Um, this is not wanting 
not wanting to be sep separated from this person anymore, but there needs to be there needs to be a separation from this old energy in order for you two to move forward. We have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, self-care, being happier. This is you setting those healthy boundaries and saying, I'm not going to move for forward with this in a love capacity unless you release yourself from whoever you're with. I'm not going to do to her or him what you did to me. I'm not that person, so if you can't take that risk and leave them, whether I'm going to welcome you or not, welcome you in my heart or not, I'm not moving forward. So some of you are legit going to push pause on this connection or completely close out the cycle, like I said, because this person's having a hard time releasing themselves from their current person. Um, and others of you, you're just waiting for it. It's like, I'm not, I'm not doing shit until, until you clear that up. Yes, there's passion here and I have so much fun with you and I can't wait to reconnect, but I am not going, not today. I'm not going to move forward with you until this is handled. You want to make sure that they're trustworthy. You're testing them basically and rightfully so. I don't fucking blame you. Future expectations, seven of earth, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. This is the pause. This is you pushing pause saying, um, you know, it's nice that you came back and you're clearing things up and we're talking and we're getting this closure, but I am not moving forward with you. I'm not investing in you or us or anything to do with you and I until you let go of this person because I'm not a home wrecker. I don't do anything. I don't want to be part of your infidelity. And if you're going to start things with me on that type of note, Who's to say you won't do it to me again? So if you don't come to me correct, you know, I'll plant seeds elsewhere, you know? That's what I feel. So you're just kind of waiting to see what will happen. Yeah, there's the commitment, the hierophant. I really feel like with unnecessary worry, this is you moving forward and leveling up and committing to this person because this person is taking you seriously and you're seeing that they're taking the proper steps. Yeah, Ace of Chalices. There you go. There's the love offer. They're done with their player ways. If you were dealing with somebody who was kind of in and out, playboy, playgirl in the past, because um, I feel like infidelity was an issue between the two of you in the past, um, and not just the person they left you for. That was just the final straw kind of thing. But I feel like this person knows that you're worth the investment and they, they love you and they're realizing this and they want to grow with you and, um, they want to invest and they want to get married and they want to level up. They want to have that family. They fucking love you. And I feel like you love this person too. And for those of you where this person does it correctly and they do release their ex, I feel like you guys will move forward in a very positive way, which is fucking beautiful. Um, can I get more on this, please? If this made sense, or even if it didn't, because I go off from likes when I upload future videos, please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more I have them to pick up on your energy. Um, I do have openings for personals. If you're interested, hit me up for a personal. Willow Vines with an S, 1631 at gmail.com. Don't forget to go over to Patreon because this is extended. Um, we're going to cover obstacles and blocks, actions that need to be taken, or that will be taken because who cares about what needs to be done? We want to see what's going to be done kind of thing. Um, potential outcomes and advice and anything else that I see fit over there. Like I said, any denomination, stay for a a moment or a while either way it makes me happy um yeah self-indulgence focus on self self-worth time to heal shadow work self-appreciation this is you showing this person your self-worth like i'm only investing in things that are worth my while because i'm not going to subject myself to any anyone's bullshit not not yours not anyone's I don't care how much how much I love you how much I want you how much I've missed you um, how promising this connection could be or not I am not going to subject myself to a third-party situation um, 
or just to, to the bullshit of it all. So you either come correct or don't come in at all. Um, I'm not going to invest in this until until you do come in correct. So this is those healthy boundaries. And I do feel like most of you are going to get what you want. Yeah, the butterfly. Relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child growth. This is them maturing. This is you guys um, evolving, growing, expanding, and uh, working together unlike you ever have before. And look, abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. So you're going to get what you want whether it's just closure so you can move forward with somebody else or um, investing in this connection again with this person. So whichever side of the coin you're on, you're going to get what you want. You're going to move forward. This person is going to leave whoever they're with. They're going to get rid of this past person, this ex, whoever the hell it is. It might. is. They're going to take that chance with hand of cards. It says, take a chance, a risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. This ending, them ending their security blanket to move towards you is a risk. But I feel like they're going to tell you they know what they need to do. There's the clarity, the truth. In order to get their happiness with you, they're going to have to end it and they know it. So yeah, this is pretty promising. It's definitely not for everyone because some of you will be like, I don't want the past back. Fuck my ex, blah, blah, blah. If you had a toxic ex, this is not that person, okay? This person did not hit you. They did not emotionally abuse you. Yes, there was infidelity, so there were some negative aspects to it, but it was not somebody who was, you know, horrible like that. Um, there was potential here, but I feel like there's an age gap. There was just a difference between the two of you, and a lot of growing up needed to happen um, I feel like for both of you, but the younger person definitely had less experience in life and love and, you know, therefore they needed to go out and have those experiences, clear up some karma on their own and grow and mature in order to, um, come back and have a, a, a well-rounded connection with you. So it is about timing. And if that's the case, that's who's coming back. Um, it's somebody that you love. It's somebody that you do want back for the most part, for most of you. Um, and, and like I said, some of you are going to turn this person away completely and it's just the closure of it all so you can move forward because you're just doing what's best for you. You're trying to find your your way in life, basically. But yeah, that's what I have for you. So don't forget to join me over on Patreon so we can cover everything else, obstacles and blocks and all that shit. I'm not going to say it again. Um, hit me up for personal, like, share, comment, subscribe. Like I said, I love you guys so much. Um, you can donate to Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal if you just want to support my channel. Um, especially if these resonate, it, trust me, it helps so much. Um, also, I have my Amazon wish list link in the box below if you would like to purchase any tarot decks for me or oracle decks because. Uh, Wisdom Dante Court, she's the one that gifted me the tarot of sexual magic, which I love, and I used it in the Scorpio reading first um, to give her the honors, and that's what I'll do. Anyone who sends me cards, um, as long as I know your zodiac sign, I will do the honors for your zodiac sign, so you guys will get to see it first. Um, I, and please give me your return address because I do like to send thank you cards and sometimes I send gifts back. It all depends. And I had another subscriber send me um, the Island Times Wellness deck, which I don't know her or his Zodiac sign. I don't even know who sent it. They never told me. Um, but thank you, thank you, thank you. And it, it happened like a month ago, I think. And then... I Leo in Leo's reading I'm going to introduce the what is it the wild unknown animal um, Oracle because Chandra she's a Leo she sent that to me and I just was told by somebody else that they're sending me another tarot deck so that I don't really know the details on that but when it comes in I'll share it with you all as well but if you'd like to be part of that that is why I mentioned it so regardless even if you just comment something sweet it's a blessing to me anyways but i love you guys and i'll see you over on patreon peace